Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today I'm going to be doing every shade in the palette with my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. I got this inspiration from Kitty JD and Alyssa Ashley. We're just going to jump straight into it. My eyeball, as you can see, is primed and ready to go. And we're going to start with some yellow up in the upper crease. And basically what you're going to see me do, if you saw some of these colors, we're going to do a little bit of a sunset eyeball. And I do apologize, the insert pictures here are a little bit darker than I'd like them to be, but I have a really bright yellow, and then we're using a bright orange, and basically we're going to start with the yellow, orange, and red, and do like a gradient in our crease. And you'll notice I'm really kind of making sure that my eyebrows are not lifted when I'm applying color. I want them to stay lower or in that resting face mode, so that way when I'm just in a normal look, or I'm normally looking at you, you can see all the colors of the rainbow because <laughs> that's what we're going for rainbow AF right I initially wanted to use my sugar pill palette to do this but I don't have a full pro palette and I kid you not the colors that I have it would have been a red light on my face kind of what we're doing right now but just more solid green red and yellow and that's not cute it's not a look it's not no matter what you think so I'm just blending all these shades together and I'm gonna pull the brown out of that palette and I'm just going to darken up my crease before we go into a more vibrancy. And what I was really impressed with with playing with this palette is that there's not a lot of fallout. The colors build up really nicely. The only thing I really had trouble with was the deep purple shade. You'll see in a second I have some fallout. I've really, I've wanted to try more things from Juvia's Place, but with the palettes that I have, I haven't been the most impressed, so I was really interested in using this for this challenge to see if we could really pull a look out of our keisters, and that's exactly where this look is coming from. But I will tell you, in using this purple shade, enough of that fallout continued to fall out <laughs> to where we had to kind of stop what we were doing and conceal the under eye because it was starting to play games with me in the mirror. See how my under eye just looks that much darker with that fallout? So I'm going through with a dry brush and I'm cleaning up some of the red and the orange areas making them a little bit more defined so that way you can really see all the colors of the rainbow. And I'm not specifically laying that yellow all the way up to my brown bone shade. I'm letting it kind of drift upward. But we still have a mini highlight above it. Conceal your problems. Now I'm going to take my next jumbo pencil in the white, I think it's called Milk. I push that underneath and I'm just blending that outward and making sure there's no splotchy areas so I can lay down some color underneath my eye and that way the color won't get darker or muddy out, it'll be a little bit more vibrant. This is my Melt Bake pencil for my water line. Going in with the matte teal shade in the middle of the palette, I'm starting to press things in. I'm going to use a different brush and press, press, press. And this went from semi-decent to peacock within like 10 seconds. I ended up immediately regretting having that blue go all the way outward like a, a wing. So you'll see me kind of buffing and erasing that guy. It's not a look.
I'm going to take those shimmery shades and just pat them right on top so they had a nice little matte base coat and the shimmers would lay very nicely starting with that really aqua blue which I ended up really loving this color I think I'll probably pull it out a few times in the future and then that green y'all is that green not gorgeous and you'll see the reason why this is a voiceover is my significant other was standing close to me telling me jokes yeah, this I saw I saw it live when he Thank printed it. Thank you very much, Mofo, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my face also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. <laughs> yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. Listen, oh, I love you good. so much. I, am, I love you so much from my heart. Eh? So, thank you very much, Mofo, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my face also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. <laughs> Don't like me, huh, babe? My girlfriend and my wife. No. Well, I'll be saying that sometime. My, like, be like, this is my girlfriend and my wife. And my wife. So back to reality. I've got the last shade in the palette that I've started on the center of my eyelid, and that is without Fix Plus. You'll notice before I took a little bit of that yellow and smeared it underneath the blue and the green. I think it really enhanced and brought a little bit of that lime green element underneath the eye a little bit stronger. And then I went back in with some Fix Plus and I'm really just kind of creating a spotlight on the center of my eye and enhancing that inner corner for the final look here. That's right, it's a look. We're going to officially label it as such. If you're wondering what this tiny little triangle brush I've been using, it's a Morphe brush. It's a B16. Out of any of the Morphe brushes I've ever tried, it's literally the only one I like. Now I'm going to curl once and curl twice for good luck. And so these are by Ilore, their Nicole Guerrero series. And as much as I love Nicole Guerrero, I cannot get along with these lashes. I don't know what it is. I know I did not use enough glue to begin with, but... I have some Ann Lees, I absolutely love those, but these guys, they, they don't like me back. This is something that's in my project pan, it's the Cool Down Shade Mascara from MAC. And then you know, I gotta struggle with the lash a little bit more and we're just gonna pretend like it actually stuck to my eyeball for a split second to celebrate that we've made a look with this palette, y'all. So this is my finished look. I think it's actually pretty cute. We're going to do this in a full get ready with me eventually. So you can actually listen to me talk and we won't do so many voiceovers, but I enjoy doing it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye Lash and goodbye everybody else still watching. That's right, I'll be singing a lot more too. <laughs>